This might be the first weapon we've had in Halo Infinite added into the sandbox in over a year and a half. What am I talking about? Well, this is the Great Journey teaser that was just given to us by the people over at Halo Studios. And at first I was like, okay, again, maybe probably just another weapon model that we can just like pay 500 credits for for the Operation Pass like we've had previously with like the CE Assault Rifle, the, I believe it's called the Sanchin Sniper Rifle, which is actually uh, just a model when really in lore, it's actually like a railgun sniper rifle, which has been such a cool weapon to have. So why is this weapon any different compared to the other weapon models that we've seen previously? Well, I think it's really that three, four, sorry, it's Halo Studios has been hinting a lot at this being an actual weapon to be added into the game, which seems almost completely random at this point, the reason why. Mainly because when they posted this video, they titled it saying, I need a weapon in quotations in Halo Infinite for the Great Journey, which is a reference to the Halo famous line in Halo 2. Great Journey being, I believe it's the last mission in Halo 2 as well. So big Halo 2 references right there with this Great Journey operation. But it's just caught, caught me by surprise so much because I thought we were just done like completely when it comes to just adding in new sandbox items into the game. Uh, just because when I was looking at like the, what was the last weapon added into the game? It was the Bandit Evo rifle, which was brought in during the Echoes Within season, which is season three back in March 7th of 2023. So it's been a minute, <laughs> you know? And even if you consider just sandbox items in general, the last one was added in was the repair field, which was then brought in during the season five reckoning season, which was the fifth and final season of Halo Infinite. So at this point, I was like, okay, we're done adding in new things. A lot of stuff's getting left on the cutting room floor and we're just gonna be kind of doing operations, shop updates, basic things like that. So when I saw this, it actually caught me by surprise and I originally thought like, okay, it's just another weapon model, but this one might be a little different, which gets me excited uh, because this weapon model is the same weapon model that was used in the Ghost of Onyx assault rifle, which is actually technically an SMG. You can see a very similar type of weapon modeling here. And this is weapon has never been available in a Halo game before, uh, only in external lore kind of stuff. So this is really exciting to see that this could be what we could get when it comes to uh, having a new weapon. Now, this is actually going to be marked as an SMG type of weapon more than anything else, which is going to be cool because I don't believe really there is like a actual like SMG available in Halo, Halo Infinite Sandbox, if I remember off the top of my head accurately. Um, but the, this actually could be well, I'm, well, we're talking about here because our favorite Leaky Born channel, Sir Asia, actually provided some details. He was like, okay, I'm not usually one to leak this kind of stuff, but it seems to actually be the case. Uh, let me open this up real quick for you guys. So yeah, I don't like leaking stuff like this, but to like a little spill the beans kind of moment, but it's the MA 5k Avenger is coming to Halo Infinite. It's listed under the SMG class. So I'm wondering if they are going to have it be one. And you can see this is some game code right here. Talking about the MA 5k Avenger right next to like the Sentinel Beam, the Needler, Sniper Rifle. Like these are actual like strings of code in Halo Infinite. And this is going to be most likely added into a playable build version of the game, which is going to be so cool to see this assault, this SMG being added into the game. I uh, also was kind of lightly confirmed when it comes to what else is coming with the Great Journey operation. We talked about it previously on the channel. That's why you guys need to subscribe is all I'm trying to say here. Uh, Rebs Gaming recently posted his information about like what's this operation, most recent Halo information as well. So I thought I'd kind of just give you guys the highlights of it. Talking about the Sparasoft's development experience with Halo Infinite is finished right now. And they're working on actually but drastically different things when it comes to Halo. And so it might be developing content for the next Halo project, which would make sense. Hence the Halo Studios, plural, you know what I mean? And also mentioning that uh, he, he misspoke right here. He meant to say like the Great Journey operation could include the Relic remake by Sparasoft. 
Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about there when it comes to the Relic remake, like I said, we talked about this previously on the channel, but this is the leaked Forge map made by Sparrowsoft uh, that came out, that was leaked back in May of 2024. So it's been a while. Now I'm wondering if this was like intended to come out earlier for one of the operations possibly, but then they saw the community pushback about this Forge map and maybe they delayed it to been make it into like a Halo 2 20th anniversary kind of playlist thing or something like that, which likely will come with the Great Journey update, which we'll talk about a little bit in this video as well. Uh, but we can see like how this Forge map here, like while the geometry of things is well done, like the functionality of the forging looks great, but the visuals of it, not so great. Uh, if you can see within the video here, you can see like how just the sand textures, or you can see like just the pieces kind of added together, really. It doesn't really look very well like hidden, I guess is the way to put it. That's one thing these forgers in Halo Infinite do such an amazing job of, of hiding like these little ugly spots that Forge has limitations on. And how do you make that much more of a natural environment to make it look like a basically a dev quality map, but done in a user front for user front user interface like uh like forge which is kind of crazy to think about like that's the quality of they have but that's what they can do with it and so uh, a lot of the comments here on twitter and like like mimpless in particular saying looks horribly unfinished saying yawn another remake a simple poorly made one at that as well uh, this has been a lot of the uh issues with um, a lot of those Parasoft maps that people have found that they are just kind of lacking that extra level of detail that we come to see from like the community themselves. We just do this stuff for free. And we, you know, plus we've had like the, the Halo 2 anniversary remake that we had, uh, even though the frame rates on this were awful <laughs> back on the original Xbox, it still looked amazing though. And to kind of feel like we're just kind of like, it feels like almost like the old look a strawberry meme. You know what I'm talking about? You're like, oh, no, the strawberry <laughs> kind of comparison. Like that's what it kind of felt feels like when it goes to coming to this version of the map. So I'm hopefully with this extra dev time, like what this is back in May when this was leaked out. So probably this is images. They probably came out probably back in March or probably during like an operation or like a, like a spring update. Usually when this kind of information gets leaked out when it comes to like these major seasonal updates. Uh, so we can go into talking about a little bit about the seasonal update itself as well. It was also brought up within the Halloween Horrors blog that we talked about earlier on the channel here. We got a little bit of insight about what this upcoming update is going to bring for us right here. We are looking ahead to our upcoming operations, starting with Operation Great Journey in November, a celebration of all things Halo 2 as we, the beloved game hits its 20th birthday, which I'm just like, bro, does it have to be 20 years? Like, can time just slow down a little bit? Like, I still remember the midnight release of Halo 2 at my local game slot back in the day. Oh, man, that's just, that's way too many years between then and now. But anyways, though, <laughs> um, but just again, just talking about like how like this also this upcoming season or such a operation in November starts off the winter update, which is going to be coming for the next three operations. Then following up with that is going to be the spring update, which would kind of fall in line when we would see these types of leaks of like, you know, these four traps coming out like during like this information getting leaked out during like the spring update when they have to like update some files and upcoming content for the next three operations, right? Cause like all the content you see for operation one, two, and three for that season are all planned out, done and made just need to be released for that trickle of content that a pseudo live service Halo Infinite is right now has to offer for us players. So that would make a lot of sense right there. Um, so I'm really excited about this. This gives me the hope of like possibly like a Halo 2 style playlist, which would be amazing. The Forge community out there has already made amazing remakes like Midship, for example, or even like say like Black or uh, Lockout. It's already kind of in the game already with that banished version that's already in the game. And then we those more model off of bl uh, Blackout rather than uh, Lockout, but you get the idea. But it's kind of look forward to more information coming for us guys. Community manager Unishek did tweet this out as well as just saying with big eyeballs and saying excited to share more throughout the week. So we will get some more information about 
the great journey that's coming for us guys uh in the next coming days here i believe it's november 5th yeah when this operation does come out for us guys i will have a bunch of content talking about this this should also bring the third person mode for firefight as well when it comes to this update so good amounts of hopefully coming in with us i'm really crossing my fingers for like a halo 2 theme playlist if that is going to happen you know they're going to flex that over at Halo Studio, so we definitely will cover it here on the channel throughout this week. If you guys have enjoyed this type of videos, make sure to tap like and subscribe. If you miss any content for me, here are some videos for you. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.